This is in response to some of the questions about power and connectivity. Um, this is a 5521 connector. That's 5.5 millimeters external, 2.1 millimeters internal. It comes on a lot of 12 volt power supplies. Pretty common. Uh, this is only 15 watts, so I can't use the power. Starlink. Oh, this is a Linksys. Came from a router. Well, in case you're wondering, I have uh, the multimeter connected. It's showing 19.9 volts on my 20 volt wall battery, so almost a full charge. And I've got the amp gauge, amp probe connected. Uh, let's plug it in and see what it draws. One point nine amps currently, two point two point oh at nineteen point six volts, so it's roughly forty watts, a little bit less. Um, I know it's, I read something about twenty five watts is what they're expecting or what it should um, under normal usage, but we'll see. So it is loaded um, and is connected. Everything's booted up. I don't even see that. It has found satellites. It's still working on that. Uh, but it's dropped down to 1.1 amps. One amp, kind of flickering back and forth at 19.4 volts. So that's 20 watts. That's pretty good. So once it's loaded uh, or booted up, everything's up and running. It settles down to about 20 watts, it seems. It is fluctuating a little bit, 1.1, 1.2 times 19.4, yeah, 23 watts. So 25 watts is a safe estimate for power consumption on average. Uh, this isn't the best place to, <laughs> to try to connect to the internet right under this tree, but it is up and running, just having trouble finding the satellites because of obstructions. One thing I found connecting it uh, to battery power, I had everything set up. Uh, the router had my own network and password and everything put into it. And when it was connected to the uh, DeWalt battery and it died, uh, while the Starlink was connected, all the settings went back to default. So it went back to a Starlink uh, network ID and an open network, no password. I thought that was interesting. So there you go, it's still holding at one amp, 19.3 volts, just hanging out. Uh, any more questions, let me know. Oh, one more thing. I did try it uh, in a mobile setting. Uh, by that I mean I just threw it up on the da dash of my truck while I was driving down the road and turned it on. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, uh, but just to see if it would work. It connected to the satellites. Um, again, this the signal wasn't reliable. Um, because one, it was inside the vehicle, and two, I was moving. Uh, but if somebody made a mount where you could put it on top of your car, just like a magnetic mount, um, yeah, it would work just fine, I believe. Uh, orientation, you know, is going to affect what kind of stable connection you have. But if you're not doing video conferencing or something where you need a, a steady, stable connection, you'll be fine.